Hello, this is Daniel from KC Allied Health, and today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of the exercise known as squats. To many people, this may be a dreaded exercise, but I'd like to tell you why it's important, and I'd like to tell you from the perspective of lower back-related problems. To start with, let's just have a look at the anatomy. You see here on the skeleton, you've got the big bony chunk being the vertebral body, and you've got the intervertebral discs, that's these rubbery things in here. And you can think of them a bit like jelly-filled donuts. They have a liquidy or jelly-like center. If this skeleton were to bend over fully forward, you may be able to imagine that the liquid-filled center is now being pushed backwards in that disc. Now, that is a very common way for people to wind up getting intervertebral disc injuries, disc bulges, especially if you bend over forward like that and then suddenly jolt like if you've picked something up. Now, Squatting, on the other hand, avoids this mechanic by keeping your back in a fairly neutral and upright position and sending more of the physical stress and strain of going down to the ground through your bum and thigh muscles. And when you look at the muscles in the lower back, they're normally not that thick or load-bearing. They're these long, thin things that go up and down your back, whereas the muscles in the bum and the quads are definitely some of the biggest and uh, best perfused and most chunky muscles that we've got in the body. So if I were you, I'd know where I wanted to try and put most of that physical force of bending my body down and up again. This is why for anybody with a heavy duty job who has to lift a lot of things, maintaining the capacity to squat really well is an important movement. In fact, just about anybody barring certain health related issues should at least try to maintain their capacity so that they can keep using the ability to use these big thick muscles around the bum and thighs instead of the lower back. So here's my challenge for you today. Can you still squat? If it is safe for you to do so, give it a go. You can start by just slowly lowering yourself onto a chair if you feel uncertain about it. And if you're young, full of pith and vinegar, then you can go ahead and try going for a full set of squats coming down, bending the knees, getting your bum as close to the ground as you can, and then coming back up again. See how you go. And this is Daniel wishing you the best of health. Bye-bye.